Yo, what it is? What it is? It's your boy here, Tacos and Workouts. I was feeling a little blue. And I decided, you know what? It's time to make some pasta oliol. I don't know if I said that correctly. But it's it's a, it's it's an Italian dish. And we're going to see how it comes out. Let's go get it. This is the pasta here. It's the pasta. It's getting cooked. You know, it's a little boiling, you know. It's gonna come out magnifique. And this is my tool right here. I used to uh, move the pasta to make sure it don't stick, you know. The pasta. Right there. I believe this is a uh, fettuccine pasta. There you go. Make sure it don't stick to the pan. Move it around. This right here is the the Italian um, Italian uh, olive oil from Italy that my coworker uh, gave me. That right there is all the little garlics, right? I got three of them, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat them up until they're nice and golden browns. And then once it's nice and toasties, we're gonna we're gonna get those out, and we're gonna put that on the olio um, on the fettuccine pasta, and that's what it makes it olio pasta. All right, y'all. That's all the the little garlics. I think I overcooked them. They're little. They're a little too overcooked. Now I got to take them out. I did overcook the garlics because you know why? When you're doing your 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 videos and your cookings and you're multitasking and you're not Rachel Ray. You got somebody helping you out to do all your stuff. It's not easy to do both. But uh, hopefully that doesn't ruin my, my um, uh dish. Maybe it just makes it extra garlicky. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. There you go, yo. It's getting closer. You know, the, the, the pasta is getting uh, the, the desired coloring um, that I like. I like mine to be very light in color and very, uh, you know, uh, soft. Uh, some people like the pasta to be hard, not me. I like soft pasta. You know, I think the soft is better, you know. And, uh, you know, it look, it's looking good. Um, so I usually give it about 15 to 20. And I set a timer on that sucker and uh, it hasn't gone off yet. So, uh, let's see. All right, I think it's time for me to test it. And there's only one way that I know how to test it. I think this piece is too big though. Here it is, testing time. It worked! <laughs> ah, man, it fell. It was, it was a big piece, it was too heavy. Um, but it stuck, it stuck onto the that's how I test it. Once it gets nice and sticky and it gets there, that's that's how you know it's it's good. All right, I don't want to disappoint anybody, so there you go. If the pasta sticks, you must have quit. <laughs> you must have quit boiling it. That's what I meant. <laughs> Alrighty, so I I I, uh, I strained all the water out as much as I possibly could. So now what we're gonna do is, is get our uh, oil and we're gonna put it right on the this was here. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it this way, but alrighty. So I put the oil on the pasta and then I kind of shake it all around, make sure it doesn't all stick to one place, you know. And then there's two ways you could do this. You could get your, your, your flavor, your seasoning, spices, or whatever, and throw it all over your pasta, and then it just gets all over the place. Or you could just put it on, on your dish. What we're going to do for this particular instance, we're just going to go individually and, and do it for the dish once you're uh, once it's ready to be served. Because I, I think that putting it all over the pasta, I don't know, it might be a little too much. And that way you could do it for your liking.
Guys, I don't know how to do this with uh, one hand. It sucks. See, I can't even cut it right. So I'm going to do it with two hands. There you go, much better. Can you tell which ones were cut with two hands and one the one that wasn't with one hand? Yeah, that looks nasty. Oh, well. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't it look delicious? Ooh, yeah. Mamma mia. Forget about it, huh? Look at that. Pastel oil with olives. But it's not done yet. We still need to put a little bit of stuff. Too bad I don't have no red peppers, you know? A little bit of them red peppers, the red pepper flakes, you know, the kind you put in the pizza, you know? I didn't got to that. Gotta get it for next time. All right, people. It's time to put the basil leaves. The fresher, the better. But you know, it's me. I don't got it, so you know, I improvise. I do the best that I can with what I got. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley. Right, there you go. And then what we're going to do is kind of move it all around, you know. You know, so it kind of gets everywhere. It's evenly distributed within the within the pasta. Look how beautiful that's coming out. Forget about it, huh? Let's say, uh, go to, go to Olive Garden, you know. Oh, man, you know what? Some mushrooms would have been good with this, too. Some fresh mushrooms, right? But I don't have that, so maybe next time. And then what you do, uh, you put whatever kind of uh, meat you want, right? You could eat it as is, or you could put uh, shrimp. Uh, you could put uh, chicken or a little bit of seafood. It's up to you. All right, last but not least. Oh, it's so hard to do this with one hand. There you go, buddy. You know what I'm saying? The mozzarella, you know? And, uh, you have to forgive me for the, for the quality of, uh, handheld and all that good stuff, you know? But, uh, I got inspired, dog. I got inspired. And I said, you know what, dog? You know what, dog? I'm gonna do this by myself, hand to hand. All right, that's the overall appearance of the dish. Now it's time to give it the taste test. All right, time to give that that taste test. Mmm. 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 Good stuff over here. We got some good stuff over here. Mmm. Perfect pasta. Thank you for stopping by on this video. See you on the next. Manja, manja.